Pennsylvania is heating up. Battleground state everyone's watching as Vice President Kamala Harris and Donald Trump go head to head in a campaign blitz. Who's got the upper hand in this pivotal race? Can Harris flip the suburbs to blue or will Trump's working class base hold strong? Let's break down the strategies, key moves, and what this means for the 2024 election. Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump will campaign in different parts of the key swing state of Pennsylvania on Monday. Vice President Kamala Harris's campaign laid out what it sees as her path to victory in Pennsylvania. The Harris team pointed to polls showing Harris, the Democratic presidential nominee, having made gains in the battleground state suburbs, which it dubbed our own mini blue wall in Pennsylvania, compared with President Joe Biden's 2020 performance there. Campaign also emphasized that a win involves boosting its popularity among educated suburbanites, including those who have voted for Republicans in recent elections. Nearly 160,000 voters in the state cast ballots for former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley in the GOP presidential primary this year, her numbers proving stronger among suburban voters, even after she had already dropped out of the race against former President Donald Trump. The Harris campaign's path to win Pennsylvania capitalizes on Trump's unprecedented weakness in the suburbs, which also highlighted the campaign's focus on Haley voters. We have flipped the suburbs from red to blue since Trump won them in 2020, and we have also grown our support with women and tripled our support among white college-educated voters in the state. Campaign highlighted events that Harris and her running mate, Minnesota Governor. Tim Walls have held in red counties like Johnstown, Lancaster, and Rochester. It also detailed investments made in red parts of the state to cut margins and stop Trump's only hope of victory, noting that 16 of its 50 statewide campaign offices are in counties Trump won by more than 10 points in 2020. Campaign highlighted that, as of Sunday, it had knocked on more than 1 million doors across the state, including 250,000 over the weekend, since Harris replaced Biden atop the Democratic ticket. It also referred to its 50 offices and 450 on the ground staff members. For Trump, billionaire mogul Elon Musk ramped up his political engagement in the state this month through his America Pass, which is working to turn out the vote for Trump. The Trump campaign said the Harris campaign is papering over a problem it faces in Pennsylvania cities, particularly Philadelphia, the most vote-rich locale for Democrats in the state. They can point to the suburbs, but they're losing ground in places like Philadelphia, Trump campaign officials said. It's exactly why former President Barack Obama was just pleased leading to African-American men to vote for her. They've sounded the alarms, and they know they're losing. The Trump campaign also pointed to Republicans having significantly cut into the Democratic voter registration advantage in the state, while flipping Bucks, Luzerne, and Beaver counties to Republican registration edges. It further highlighted reports that working-class voters in Philadelphia have embraced Trump. The Trump campaign's Pennsylvania spokesperson highlighted Obama's visit as a sign the Harris team was scrambling. An Obama visit isn't going to convince Pennsylvanians to vote for another four Four years of open borders, rising prices, and disaster at home and abroad, Desai said in a statement. The Harris campaign said it believes it will be able to at least match Biden's support in Pittsburgh and Philadelphia in his victory in those cities four years ago. It went into greater detail about its efforts to reach black voters in the state, including the staff members it has dedicated to outreach and engagement in its events focused on black voters, seeking to speak directly to black men, push for undecideds to get behind Harris, saying her record deserves their support. The Harris campaign is going to hit its targets among both black men and voters in Philadelphia. It's going in the right way for the vice president, said. Look, for a woman and for a black woman, it's always harder. It's not fair. It's not right. But it's always harder. Maybe if we break through with this election, that's it for today's breakdown of the Pennsylvania showdown between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. The state remains one of the most important in the 2024 race, and both sides are throwing everything they have into winning it. Stay tuned to the channel for more updates on the latest political news, campaign strategies, and election coverage as we get closer to the big day. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay informed.